In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can lend and borrow crypto assets on the Compound platform, which is a permissionless decentralized protocol for borrowing and lending. So you don't have to go through a centralized provider. You can do it directly through the Compound application simply after connecting your Web3 wallet to the app. So this is how it works. There's a few different chains that you can borrow and lend assets on. Ethereum, Arbitrum, base and polygon. So you can decide which chain you want to borrow or lend on. But I'm going to use the Arbitrum layer two simply because the gas fees for doing transactions on the layer two are significantly cheaper. Now currently on Arbitrum, Compound is only accepting these four assets as collateral if you want to take out a loan against your crypto assets. And that would be Ether, Arb tokens, GMX or wrapped Bitcoin on the Arbitrum network. And if you do want to take a loan against your crypto assets, you're going to take that out in USDC. And then whatever you do with that afterwards is totally up to you. So let's say I wanted to take a loan out on some ether. Well, it's a multi-step process. For starters, I would have to add some ETH to the protocol, deposit it. So I'm gonna deposit 0.01 ETH to the compound protocol. Hit add action and then submit transaction. And you can see actually down here before I confirm this transaction that the collateral value of this currently is $15.94, although this obviously fluctuates with the price of ETH. And so the borrow capacity of this currently is saying it's $12.43. So of this $15.94 worth of ETH, I could borrow up to $12.43 but I would advise against, strongly advise against borrowing up to the maximum borrow capacity. And the reason for that is that if the price of ETH falls, especially if it falls by a significant amount in a short period of time, you will be at risk of liquidation. And so it's definitely much smarter if you're borrowing against your crypto assets to borrow a lot less than the borrow capacity figure that's quoted. But we'll get to that in a second. So I'm going to submit this transaction and approve the compound contract, which is gonna ask, me to confirm it in MetaMask. You can see seven cents in gas, but if this was on mainnet, it would probably cost a couple dollars. So we've done that. We'll confirm the supply of the 0.01 ETH to the protocol. Okay, so my collateral has been added. Well, let's say I wanted now to take out a loan against this collateral that I just added. Well, this button up here is where I can borrow USD, or if I had USD, I could supply USD. And you can see that I currently have $12.43 available to borrow. But if I hit max borrow and add the action, you can see that the liquidation risk bar goes up to 92%, which obviously is very high. And that's because the liquidation point of this is $14.67. So if my collateral value goes down from $15.94 to $14.67, I get liquidated and I lose all of the ETH that I put into it. Obviously, we don't want that to happen. And so it's a lot smarter to borrow less than the total borrow capacity. So let's clear that and say, instead I want to borrow five USDC from the collateral that I put in. Hit add action. You can see that my liquidation risk for this transaction would be only 37%. And the liquidation point would be $5 and 90 cents. And so that means for my loan here to be liquidated, the price of ETH would have to fall by well over half. So currently it's trading at about 1600 USD. So it would have to be below $800 USD for my liquidation point to be hit and for my loan to be liquidated. So that is a safe loan to make. Now, what you consider to be a safe loan obviously is gonna be up to you and your risk tolerance. Some people will go as high as 50%, 60%, Although if you get up into the 70, 80 or 90% of the total value of the collateral, then you're bordering on some risky behavior right there, obviously. <laughs> Anyways, let's complete this transaction. So I'm going to submit this and borrow five USDC against my 0.01 ETH. It's gonna cost me another 12 cents in transaction fees. Okay, so it's gone through and now I have five USDC in my wallet. Now this loan is charging me 2.38% APR, which is actually a very good interest rate considering the interest rate environment that we're in right now. And I could repay it here by hitting on this button where I'd have to repay it plus the interest. Or I can now take that five USDC, go somewhere else in the realm of DeFi, try to earn a higher yield than that 2.38% on it, and then come back and pay off 
but then the difference would be my profit. Of course, there's other reasons why you might be taking a loan on compound, not necessarily to do yield farming, but maybe you just want to access some liquidity without having to sell your assets. And there's different tax implications from doing that as well. Now, just for argument's sake, let's take a look at the Ethereum main chain. And you can see that there's other options to borrow. You don't just have to borrow USDC, you could actually borrow ETH. So let's see what you can do on the main chain. So if you want to transact on the base layer, you can deposit staked ETH to borrow Ether. Or if you want to borrow USDC, you can deposit any of these assets to borrow in USDC. And actually the borrow APR is slightly better on the main chain, although the transaction fees are higher. So maybe if you're doing high volume transactions, or high value transactions rather, it's better to do it on the main chain than on the Arbitrum layer two because the borrow APR is a lot lower. Also, you can see here that if you want to make loans, you can do that. So you can supply USDC to Compound, which then loans it out to other people using their own collateral. And then you can earn the supply APR on those loans. So that is an option if you want to come here and do that. Also, you can do it with ETH. I could supply ETH to this protocol right here. And then people that are depositing stake ETH would be taking some of my ETH, but then I would get the net supply APR, which is currently 3.26%. So you can also make loans on the platform and that's how you do it. You can do both things. Anyways, hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you're planning on using Compound to take loans or to make loans, definitely make sure to manage your risk. Don't put too much in and definitely make sure that there's a significant margin in your collateral value to your loan value so that you're not running the risk of being liquidated. Stay safe out there. Good luck and have a great day.